Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekend read. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's go ahead and do a quick shuffle here on camera. Guys, I've been getting some uh, comments that my microphone may not be working. So I'm going to try to speak loud, but I do have a new microphone coming in today. So just bear with me, okay? One more day. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have today for my Aries, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Aries today, please? February 20th through the 23rd, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Aries? All right, my loves. So if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner under the reading um, or under the video. I do choose multiple subscribers every month, guys, for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, Sage, you name it, it's happening. Okay, so like, share, comment, click that um, notification bell um, to enter a chance to win. Okay. Now guys, um, in the description box below, you can find the link to book me for a personal reading. I am taking personal readings again. Um, you will find the link for the video that I posted, um, how to recognize and attract your soulmate. There's a lot of great information in there on, um, what a soulmate actually is. Okay. Um, you will find the link for my tarot collection. Uh, I do have over a hundred decks. If you're interested in taking a look, there are links to purchase. You will find the link for my, uh, timeless collective readings. Um, you will find the link for Br Bruja Tarot, a special shout out to her. She's very new to YouTube. So if you, uh, try to look up her page, you probably will not, it will not come in the, up in the search. So you have to clink on link you have to click <laughs> on the link below to uh, find her she's a great reader special thank you and shout out to sherry kaplan she is an energy healer here in south florida um so if you're in this area definitely check her out she is amazing um oh and the link for my instagram is listed below also i do post daily messages on instagram okay um so guys let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle message um, Aries, the energy that I picked up for you guys was one of so much light, like, like, all right. So I felt that your heart chakra was in, it was either blocked or closed, or you were just coming, you're coming out of this place where like, you felt like you couldn't trust people, or you were just in a lot of pain over things that have happened in your past. And you are now in a relationship or a situation here where somebody, it's like this is the person that you have been waiting for. This person is actually showing you that there are stable people in the world, that there is stability, that there is a chance for you to be happy. Because I'm feeling, Aries, um, that you're coming from this place of hopelessness, that you, you know, maybe... You fall, fell in love with people that just always hurt you or, you know what I'm saying, or um, walked out on you or just weren't stable. You, you, you always felt like, you know, you were with people, but you didn't see a future with them. Um, you didn't see a, 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 you didn't see completion with them. You didn't see the connection going anywhere and you have foundly found finally found this person that you have been waiting for for quite some time to show you that there is real love in the world um so i don't know where you're at right now i don't know if you're still in that dark place i don't know if you have finally found this person but that's you know if you're in this dark place it's coming okay there there is a ray of light coming into your life um, and you feel like your heart chakra is lighter. You just find that you're feeling happier. There's a bounce to your step. Under the deck here, we've got the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles um, is a card of wanting to hold on to something, um, but it's also a card of holding back. And I'm feeling that, you know, 
uh, up until now, you've always been in this energy of, I'm not going to give my all into this. I'm going to hold back because your heart chakra was not in that right place. I'm also getting for a lot of you that your heart chakras were just stuck. You went through something that was just kind of like a shock to your heart and your heart chakras just remained in that stuck energy of just not being able to move forward with it. Um, and now it's releasing. Okay. So here we have use your mind wisely, use your mind wisely. So when it comes down to love, Aries, even though you're a fire sign, um, under the deck, we have a seashore spirit watch and wait, even though you're a fire sign, I was just going to say, when it comes down to love, even though it seems like you're passionate and impulsive, on the inside, you're at that four of pentacles level where you held back, you're watching and waiting on what this person really has to offer. And now I feel like you've come into this place with this new person. I don't know if you've been dating this person. You may even still be stuck in that dark place where your heart chakra is still blocked. But um, now you're starting to come to this place where you're, you've watched and you've waited and you're using your mind wisely, but you're starting to see that this person um, really has what it takes. We have storm warning here. So I feel that for a lot of you, in a way, um, you sat back, you watched, you waited, and you were just waiting for that storm to hit. You were waiting for this person to leave you or to mess up or to do whatever. But the fact of the matter is this person is very stable. This person is very safe. And um, you're starting to... I feel like you're starting to realize that, like the rainbow is starting to show through these clouds. You understand? Um, so let's see what we have going on here. So Aries, we have you here, your person here. It could 100% be vice versa. So feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it, take what resonates, leave the rest. So here we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and you deserve love, you are lovable. So Aries, for a lot of you, your heart chakras could have been stuck all the way from childhood. This could have been um, toxic parents or something that happened to you in your childhood and you know, you're coming to this place where this person shows you so much light and love that you're actually releasing those... Um, grudges that you didn't even know possibly that you were holding okay so let's see what we have here now the knight of swords aquarius gemini libra energy we have the fool we have the devil capricorn energy and the hanging man oh goodness aries and now we have the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy so guys, what I'm getting here is this is the stuck card space that I was feeling. You guys have been very, um, you've been holding a lot of toxicity in your hearts with this devil card. You've been chained to it. And because of this, relationships have been very fleeting, very in and out. Um, there hasn't been a sense of stability, okay? Now with this full card here, and the hanged man, I'm feeling that any time you wanted to take a leap of faith, you stopped yourself with that hanging man, okay? You stopped yourself. But now what I feel is happening is, you know, you're coming into this beautiful place here. Um, the queen of pentacles. Now, for some of you, this could be due to a mother figure, possibly. This whole, this whole blockage could be due to a mother figure. For others of you, I feel like you're you're coming out of this dark place and you're moving into this connection of um, stability a grounded energy you know just a nurturing caring person so let's see what we have here ascended masters and victim mentality so you have your archangels you have your highest guides coming in to heal this victim mentality so whether you guys know this acknowledge it or understand it or not aries there has been a point in your life where you were hurt and then got very very stuck in that victim mentality everybody is going to hurt me the way this person hurt me so i'm just not even going to go there you understand what i'm saying and anytime you even thought about going moving forward to try to get the love that you deserve you stopped yourself immediately immediately so let's see what we have here but these these angels your your highest guides are coming in to heal this they're coming in to heal this or awaken you to the fact that you're holding you're carrying this toxicity with you and to release that weight 
Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, Page of Swords. More Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You're starting to awaken. You're starting to realize that you are the one that's actually manifesting um, all these people coming and going. You're actually manifesting it because your heart chakra is totally blocked. You're starting to realize that all these painful endings, um, it's actually coming from inside of you because you're manifesting pain because you're carrying it in your heart chakra. Spirit, tell me about this devil card here please spirit yeah see three of cups so the three of cups is rejoicing and celebration the three of cups as we all know is also a third party issue right so i think that this toxicity has been a third party issue maybe you drink a lot because of this maybe you party too much because of this toxicity maybe you come off as someone who just likes to play games or whatever the case may be because of this toxicity either way whether you do that or not it is ha it has been a blockage in your life okay it has caused you're looking back now and realizing how many tower moments this has caused in your life how many people have walked away from you or that you have walked away from because of this blocked heart chakra Spirit, tell me about the fool here, please, Spirit. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Every time you thought, maybe I should take the risk, you're like, no, I should not. <laughs> I'm going to hold back with that Four of Pentacles, which is the card that we have right here, and I'm not giving shit to anybody because I'm not going to get hurt again. So as soon as you get that inkling of maybe I should give to this connection, maybe I should try to give out the love that I want, you know, like, you know, if I love this person, they'll love me back, you hold back immediately. Tell me about this hanged man, please, Spirit. Yeah, seven of swords. Nobody's stealing shit from me. Nobody's going to hurt me. I know what you're up to, and I'm going to stop this shit before, you know what I'm saying, before it happens. Yeah, you may come towards me with love and affection, but then I know you're going to leave me. I'm getting very strong abandonment issues. And then what we have here is you put that sword up with that queen of, of swords. So, and a lot of you may not realize that you've been doing this. A lot of you may just have said to yourselves, oh, well, you know, this happens because I'm not ready to commit, or this happens because nobody can truly love me, or, you know, you're making up all these things, but you're now you're starting to realize here that your heart space was very very dark and you're realizing this because you have light coming into your life you have real love coming in and now you're starting to understand what that feels like okay it's almost like this person has loved your pain away tell me about the queen of pentacles please the star card in the reverse so this could be a, a mother figure Okay, this could be a mother figure that in some way, shape or form um, is constantly slaying your dreams. Like, you know, you may have a parental figure here where every time you said that you wanted to do something with your life or, or whatever, this person takes away your shine. You know what I'm saying? This person takes away your shine, which has caused you to just not be emotional about anything. Um, and what I mean by taking away your shine is... Um, you know, hey, mom, hey, dad, I got a job here. Oh, well, you could have gotten a much, much better job than that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And anything you do that you're proud of, it's like they, they may smile, but then there's always that one comment that's like a dagger. You know what I'm saying? And um, you may not even have realized that it affected you in this way. And that's just one example. You know, there could be so many different ways of emotional abuse or whatever the case may be. But I feel that, you know, with the star card in the reverse here, um, there's a parental figure that never let you shine, that never gave you that love or attention that you deserved as a child, at, that, that children need to have that boost of self-esteem to know that they are loved. And that may resonate with a lot of you or just a few of you. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. The Five of Swords, okay? But, you know, at the end of the day... I feel that that's an empty victory because what's happening here is you're turning that pain and I feel here that you're turning it into power here because you have someone here, you have an empress that's coming in that's giving you this stability, that's giving you this stability. And I feel that now you're at this crossroads. You're at this crossroads here where you're like, you know, I made a, fi a final judgment here about love and stuff like that, but now I'm at a crossroads. Do I want to stick with that final decision that I made or do I want to take a chance for stability here? Because someone is really showing you what love he is here someone is really showing you what love is here so let's see what we have going on and i feel like you're leaving this behind aries i feel like you're leaving this pain behind um 
you're, you're just leaving this behind. So let's see what we have here for your person. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person comes in. They show you love. They're flirty with you. And I feel like this person gives you this um, sensation of wanting you for themselves and never wanting to let you go. They want to take you away and save you from anything that is bad that's happening. And maybe you've never had somebody that did that before. We have the Six of Cups here and we have the Death card, okay? The Six of Cups and the Death card here. We have the Two of Swords, we have the Two of Wands, and we have the Moon, Piscean, Cancerian energy. So first of all, Aries, your person is very, very intuitive. They can see right past your mask. It's like this person can see right into the darkness that's in your heart. They know that there's a shadow side there. They know that there's pain, okay? And this person, with the way they're just so... Um, the way they speak to you, the way they come towards you, look at how, look at how he's kind of just... Look at how he is wooing her and so attentive. And she's like, oh, look at that tree over there. You know what I'm saying? So what this tells me, Aries, is that even when you are not looking at this person, even when you pretend to be indifferent or you try to push them away, this person's focus is still always on you, okay? And with the Six of Cups here, which is past, it could it's about the past, and generally it's, it's childhood, okay? Um, they're causing a rebirth here. They're causing you to transform they're they're causing you to grow the way this person is so intent on you and the love and the attention that they give to just you um it's unbelievable so now here you're at a crossroads okay you're at a crossroads now you may be an, at a distance from this person it could be a long distance relationship but what i'm getting here is is this person um has a decision that they need to make here they have a decision that they need to make here um, and I feel that this is about closing the distance. This is about closing the distance and helping you cut this situation out of your life. So let's see what we have going on here. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So this person, we've got the Strength card, Leo Energy. So I feel that this person is able to tame you. Okay, this person is able to tame that that wild growing thing that you have inside you from childhood. This person is able to tame that and help you get it under control. Spirit, tell me about the death card, please. Yeah, see? Tower, okay? And with the death card here, it's going to come crumbling down. We've got the six of cups under the deck again. And we have the three of pentacles and the six of swords. This person is going to help you work on that stuck heart chakra from the past and help you move away from it, okay? Tell me about the two of swords here, please, spirit. The hermit card in the reverse. This person is not withdrawing from you. They're not leaving you behind. They're not going to run from you, okay? This person is not running from you. Tell me about the two of wands, please, spirit. And with the five of cups here, I feel that this person, it hurts them. It hurts them to see how distant you are. It hurts them to see how, um, because they can see it. They can see, they can see your pain. They can see your pain and it hurts them. It hurts them because they know, you know, they, they see the love here, but they also know that there's a lot wrong here. This person is very intuitive. Tell me about the moon card here, please, spirit. Yeah. See, this person sees your pain and they want to open it. They want to like reactivate that heart chakra. You see, because this is dead. This is coffins here. And it's all about these angels coming in and bringing it back to life. So where there was darkness here, where that moon is, they're coming in wanting to reawaken it, pull a Lazarus, you know, get your heart pumping again. Spirit, tell me about the moon card here, please. Spirit, tell me about this moon. Yeah, this person is very generous with the Six of Pentacles. They are very generous. Tell me more about this moon. I want to know about this moon because I feel like that's that dark place that I was telling you guys about. 
Yeah, they are very generous. And with the seven of cups, I feel that this person senses your confusion. Um, I feel that this person helps you in multiple ways, not just one. They help you in multiple ways, not just one. Tell me about the moon card here, please. Spirit. Yeah, they want to put to death whatever family issues you have going inside you, going on inside you, scorpionic energy, and show you that there is such a thing as stability, okay? I'm getting here that this person actually speaks life to you, Aries. They actually speak life to you. So here we have decrease and... You can't make this stuff up. Welcome to Tarot. Decrease of stuck energy decrease of stuck and are you guys reading this you guys saw me pull the cards right like this isn't like a setup <laughs> i mean sometimes i feel like i mean the spirit has spoken this person is out to help you remove and unblock that stuck energy unbelievable right so let's see here we have the king of swords this is the challenge aquarius gemini libra energy your heart is dark it's icy it's just guarded it's guarded and what's crossing the situation that darkness where there is light there cannot be darkness and the love that this person is bringing into the table this love is just so it's so loving that it's just melting the ice it's melting the ice so here we have the king of cups and the king of coins cancer scorpio pisces energy um capricorn taurus virgo energy so what i'm getting here is there is deep emotion there is deep loyalty deep love deep love okay the king of pentacles is committed stable grounded this person these are two parental figures okay the king of cups and the king of coins are parental figures their husbands their wives and what this person brings to the table is the love time attention um the grounded energy that you just never received before okay and it's bringing a level of light and love into your life that you didn't even know you would ever encounter and it's 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 releasing it's releasing i mean guys decrease stuck energy this person is in your life to help you unblock that stuck energy what a gorgeous reading all right aries um i hope you guys enjoyed please be sure to like comment share subscribe uh, i love you guys and i'll see you soon take care bye